You just fell for the oldest trick in the book. And what book is that? How to defeat the boastful warrior in one easy move. Well then, you had better press home advantage <laughs> before it is too late. But you're weaponless and flat on your back. Really? <laughs> To me, and to you, uh, none. <laughs> Who's that? Jacob, it's hotter than hell in here, and full of stinging things. You're my brother, Nolan. There's any more griping from you, and I'll put you out of your misery, understood? Hot fresh water. We should be heading further inland. And if I'd wanted your opinion, Captain Taylor, I'd have asked for it. I'll have you hanged for this more. Not if I put a hole through your skull first, you won't. Jacob is a valuable hostage. Do you seriously propose to throw away an asset like the captain? To the beach. You're asking me? If you're so pleased. <sighs> this way. Oh. Mutineers. Friday, that's an English ship. That means escape. But it is commanded by mutineers. What if the captain and his crew were reinstated? That is a very big if under these circumstances. The crew is shackled. The captain is wounded and the mutineers are at least 25 strong. What are those? Where? There. Women folk. Must be the captain's wife and daughter. Your women folk are shaped like bells. No wonder you went to sea. Then we have to know that the captain would be on our side before we try anything. Come on. Little Brazilian butcher boy, do it. <laughs> you remove it, my boy. I can't work under these circumstances. Oh. Forgive me.
Captain Taylor. My name's Crusoe. Where'd you come from? I'm a castaway on this island, but I'm here to help you. Are you alone? No. There's more than one of you? Just. You're an optimist. If I help you regain command of your ship, I need your word that you'll take my companion and myself off this island with you when you set sail. You have it, sir. Jacob Moore, the leader of the mutineers, is as desperate a blackguard as ever lived. A few of the men follow him through legions. The rest obey him simply through fear. I'm working on a plan. Until I come back, you stay here. I will return. Good, sir. Is this an old cannibal trick? One time we had a warning of an attack. We had the entire village like this. When the raiders came, we jumped up and chased them back to the beach. But there was one small problem. You couldn't find the village again. Have I told you this story before? No, remember. Just remove the leader. Jacob Moore. If we take him, we gain a significant advantage. Get after him! You're a demon. Come to trap me. in a net. He tried to capture me. And what did? A spirit. It tried to kill me, it did, yeah. But I'm not so easily dispatched, oh no. Where are you then? Come on, man, I'm here. And I'm ready for you this time. Estimated the net or underestimated the man. A locksmith showed me this once. He had a workshop next to my warehouse. Hmm. Why is it called a skeleton key? Because it's thin. Hmm? I don't know. Killing Jacob Moore would not have solved anything. No? One of his men would have taken his place. Well, that depends. The leader of a mutiny has to terrify the crew more than the prospect of a hanging. Well, if you ask me, Chris, I just think that may... Friday, look. We're not going to kill them all. We'll reinstate the captain and his officers in exchange for a safe passage to England. When no one will hang. If they can convince a judge that they were forced to join a mutiny for fear of their lives, then no. Your English judges must be the wisest of men, not to be corrupted by the power they hold over the lives of men. Except for one. Do you believe there is a God? 
Judge Jeffreys, King James' right-hand man. To see him in action was to see the future for me and every London merchant and dissenter family in the realm. such a villain through the whole city! Oh, gentlemen of the jury, you take notice of the terrible carriage of this fella. How can one help abhorring these men and their religion? A pagan would be ashamed of such villainy! Oh, Lord, oh, blessed Lord, oh, blessed Lord. What a generation of vipers do we live among. You watch, you'll have been tied to the back of a cart and whipped through the streets. I can't say how it goes in England now, but every man deserves a chance to redeem himself. Like Jacob Moore. Jacob Moore sealed his fate, whatever we do. How do you plan on getting that to your captain? You have already chanced one visit to the camp. I have a messenger in mind. I tell you, lads, have no fear. I look into the eyes of evil and I come through unscathed, right? Hey! All of you! Stop here mumbling about ghosts and demons. Get to work! You see? They don't doubt me. I don't doubt you either, Jacob. been muttering all night. Something about a man coming to set us free. It's the fever. It's healing. Thank you. Excuse me. You're a woman. You have a keen eye, Mr. Crusoe. Crusoe. Robinson Crusoe. Stay right there, Mr. Crusoe. Don't move an inch. <laughs> Why? I said don't move! You expect me to stand here while you try and shoot me? So you can keep your secret and carry on living alive? Only so I can carry on living. <laughs> Listen, I wish you no harm. <laughs> Then why were you spying on me? I wasn't spying on you. I came to ask for your help, but you... This changes things. I'm sorry I startled you. If you need a medical help, then my sex would be of no issue. Are you planning something? Like I said, this changes things. You don't trust me because I'm a woman? I serve Jacob Moore because I'd be killed if I didn't. I do what I can for Captain Taylor because I have no wish to end up on the end of a rope should he regain command. Self-preservation to the last. You're a castaway stranded on this island, Mr. Crusoe. We're all slaves to self-preservation. It takes courage to live as I do. More than if I were a man. I'll find another way. What if I tell the mutineers you're out here? What if I tell them that you're a woman whose life would become more unbearable then? Be careful who you trust, Robinson Crusoe.
I happened to lay eyes on you earlier this morning, miss. I've been at sea over a year now, but I ain't forgotten what makes a woman a woman. Come here. Please, I'm begging. Begging's good. You load the whole camp, and then I'll be everyone's property. But if you keep my secret, you'll also keep exclusive rights. You're a sly one, and no mistake. Do we have a deal? Golan! Where are you, you backlot dog? We have a deal. I'll be back soon. You can rely on it. Did you find the lad? Yes and no. The lad's a lady. A bearded lady? The beard's an old stage performer's trick. Uh, your mating rituals are complicated enough as they are. And that kind of thing will not help. She may be brave, but I would never knowingly put a woman's life in danger. I need a different plan. Where have you been? The sacrificial burial ground. You're not the only one who has a plan, you see. Those are human remains. It would not be a burial ground if they were not. We need a distraction so you can set the prisoners free. The mutineers are all on edge because they think they are demons on this island. My good friends here will help supply them. What about your spirits? and laying bones to rest. They are happy, Crusoe. I have discussed it with him. Even spirits need a change of scenery now and again. But I promise to return them once it is done. Those mutineers are tough. They'll not buy this. The tough ones always fear the most. Think back when you first came here, alone on the island when the sun went down. No hope, no help. No name for the things you feared the most. doubt, the most surprising human being I have ever known. We can take care of things from here. I think we will be quite all right, thank you. Our orders are to watch you at all times. <laughs> Not while we wash, surely. Nolan! <gasps> Look! to camp. Now! Move! And that is just the beginning. Come on. We've got work to do. Do you understand these people? Neither do I. The dead man. A dead man at the lagoon. We have to leave. He's been to the grog again. Shut your mouth, Will. We all saw it, right? It's true. I saw it with my own eyes. It, it, it rose up like a demon. Get the woman back into the stockade. <laughs> First it attacked you. Now it's come for me. This place is cursed. We're all cursed. Calm down, man. We have to find another island to get provisions from before it's too late. Right, you lot. Lord all the goods into the longboat. Did you not hear him? 
Move it! We shouldn't have taken the ship. Shut up, man. You're giving everyone the jitters. He must be sunstruck. Let me help. Right. Just keep him away from the rest of the men. Come on. Roll out the barrel, boys. Put your shoulder into it. Chew this. It'll calm you. I know. What would really calm me? Just chew. Contrary to what people believe, gunpowder does not explode. It burns very quickly, producing a high volume of gases. Crystal, in order for me to help you, I must maintain my will to live. Confine these gases within a rigid container, and the container will burst in a spectacular fashion. This is what causes your explosion. A man of science would appreciate that. The spirits would say make sure it makes a bang. You stick with your spirits, and I'll stick with mine. Uh, they are the same. No, they're not. Yes, they are. I have heard you pray for help from a dead man. That dead man would be the son of my god. Is he not dead? No. And he's certainly not found in bones and relics. Uh, unlike your saints and martyrs. All right. And those are similar. The same. Similar. Give them your faith, and they will give you their protection. Dost thou, Jeremiah Blackthorn, in the name of this child, renounce the devil and all his works, the vain pomp and glory of the world, and the carnal desires of the flesh, so that thou wilt not follow nor be led by them? I renounce them all. And if faith is not enough, have powerful friends. Roland! Roland! I don't know what's wrong with him. One second he was calming down, and then the next... Well, where is the surgeon? He's back on the ship. Oh. Well, well, you better take care of my brother. Yes, sir. Come, lad. Come now, lad. Easy does it. Put him on the table. His throat's constricted. Maybe he swallowed an insect and it stung him. His only hope is if I can open his throat below the swelling. I do it. If you have a god, pray to him now. If not, I suggest you get one quick. The ghost pointed at him, and now he's dead. Shut up! I'll take his body and bury him at sea. And I trust you to take care of things while I'm gone. Of course. I'll be back. Hannibal didn't have gunpowder when he crossed the Alps. He broke up rocks with fire and vinegar. Shall I tell you how? You always do this to me when I cannot get away. What's wrong with expanding your horizons? It makes my head hurt. Crusoe, you should stop worrying. We have a plan. I just want to go home. You should take a slug. You should take it easy. The men are still very jumpy. A night on the grog will straighten them out. 
Nature calls. What do you think? I think they started the party without us. Who are you? You do realize you only have one shot, which means you'll only be able to kill one of us. And that whoever you do not shoot will have to cut your throat before the other hits the ground. <laughs> Mr. Crusoe, I thought you'd forgotten us. Are you going to be leading us? I'll leave that to you. Right. I need to help a friend, but I'll be back. Lancaster, unshackle the men. The prisoners are out! Arm yourselves, you drunken suck! They're in disarray! Let's have at them! Hold your fire. One more shot. I kill her. Papa! Lower your weapons. We have lost. Not just yet. One night away to bury my brother, and what do I come back to? Oh! Taylor and his officers got out. It's in the nature of captives to want to escape. It's the jailer's job to stop them. They had help. Obviously. The lash will loosen their tongues. Put them on board ship. I find it so easy to launch an escape from there. No! You take them! And you stay with them till I send for you. Excuse me. I got hit over the head by two men over there. Shut up! You lad, come here. Mr. Atkins obviously needs all the help he can get, so you go with him. What will happen to the women? You leave the woman here. It'll give Captain Taylor something to consider if he tries to plan another escape. And what are you going to do about those two men? What I always do to people who try and cross me. We have to get those women to safety. Come on. Bless you. Don't be afraid. He's a friend. 
I need you to take them to the treehouse. But he's a savage. Far from it, madam. He's my best friend and he's your salvation. And where are you going? I've got to find a way onto that boat. You'll be fine. and taking command. Stow the prisoners below. Prepare to set sail. You're abandoned in more? That I am. Way anchor! Hop sheets! Hands to the jeers! Stow the prisoners! Let's get clear of this godforsaken place. Drink, please. Make it quick. What are you doing? you cool. We are being pursued. Let us go. Now. You're going to leave us here. I could make my life a lot easier and return you to Jacob Moore, if you would prefer. This ship's mine now. Not if I have anything to say about it. Get him! Take the wheel, boy. This one's for me. Like a man with a lot to lose. But I have nothing to lose. Which makes me far more dangerous. First blood. I think. So, the evil island spirit. <laughs> You're going to attack me with a stick, are you? I have a very, very unfair advantage. 
Oh. Well, we'll just see about that. I still have the beating of a savage in me. Especially one that cost me so much. I do not think so. You haven't shed it yet. Where'd he go? He fell overboard. He'll do well to survive with that wound he has. Then good riddance. At least they're stuck here a while longer while they fix our ship. I don't think Atkins and his men will travel too far into the jungle anymore. Today, the battle may have been lost, but the war is far from over. Have faith, my friend. We will get you home. Come. Uh -huh. 